Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're focusing on a pepper that's spicy, versatile, and a favorite in many kitchens, the serrano pepper. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, this pepper is a must have for anyone who loves growing their own food. Let's explore everything you need to know about the serrano pepper. Did you know that the serrano peppers can be up to five times hotter than jalapenos? Serranos range between 10,000 and 25,000 Scoville heat units, making them a great choice if you're looking to add a serious kick to your dishes. And unlike some other chili varieties, serranos retain their bright, fresh flavor even as they mature, making them perfect for fresh salsas and hot sauces. The serrano pepper is native to the mountainous regions of Pueblo and Hildago in Mexico. Its name comes from the Spanish word for mountains, reflecting its origins. It has been cultivated in Mexico for hundreds of years and remains a staple in Mexican cuisine, particularly in dishes like pico de gallo, salsas, and sauces. Today's serranos are popular worldwide for their heat and rich flavor, often used for fresh rather than dried like other hot peppers. Serrano pepper plants are bushy and compact, typically growing to about two to three feet tall. The peppers themselves are slender, cylindrical, and usually about one to two inches long, though they can grow up to four inches. When immature, serranos are green, but they ripen to vibrant shades of red, orange, and yellow, depending on the variety. These peppers grow in clusters on the plant and can be harvested at any stage of ripeness, depending on your heat preference. If you're ready to grow serrano peppers, it's important to provide them with the right conditions. Serranos thrive in warm climates and need plenty of sunshine, at least six to eight hours of full sun each day. They prefer well-draining loamy soil with a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. Plant your serrano seeds indoors about eight to 10 weeks before the last frost date. Once the seedlings have grown to about four inches tall and the outdoor temperatures consistently stay above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, then you can transplant them. Water the plants regularly, keeping the soil consistently moist. Space the plants about 18 to 24 inches apart. Add a layer of mulch around the base of plants, which can help retain moisture and keep the roots cool during hot weather. Serrano peppers benefit from companion planting, and there are several vegetables and herbs that grow well alongside them. Good companions include tomatoes, carrots, basil, and marigolds. These plants help deter pests and can help improve the overall health of your garden. For example, basil can enhance the flavor of your serranos, while marigolds help repel nematodes, which can damage your pepper roots. Avoid planting the peppers near fennel as they can stunt the growth of serrano plants. One special behavior of serrano plants is the ability to continuously produce fruit throughout the growing season, provided they are regularly harvested. The more you pick, the more peppers the plant will produce. Serrano peppers are also relatively resistant to pests and disease, making them a low maintenance crop for most home gardens. However, keep an eye out for common garden pests like aphids, spider mites, and white flies, which can occasionally affect pepper plants. Serrano peppers are incredibly versatile in the kitchen because they hold onto their crispness and even when cooked, they're great in salsas, guacamole, stir fries, and pickled recipes. You can also use them in fresh salads or roast them to bring out their sweetness. Serranos are packed with capsaicin, the compound responsible for the heat. Capsaicin has numerous health benefits including boosting metabolism, reducing inflammation, and improving circulation. They're also a great source of vitamin C and A, both of which are important for immune health and skin health. Serrano peppers are a perfect addition to any garden, offering not only their signature heat, but also a long growing season and an abundance of uses in the kitchen. They're easy to grow, productive, and a fantastic choice for anyone who loves a little spice in their life. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips and plant profile. And as always, happy growing.